Hello people, hope you're doing well. Griff here, and you are watching my one simple trick to get Assassin's Creed Valhalla tattoos fast. You'll see what each one of them looks like, plus I've thrown in all AC Valhalla tattoo locations for good measure. If you're after a specific tattoo, this video will help you get it. Or if you just want to see how Eivor looks with lots of weird runes on his face, I've included that in the video too. You might have, like me, neglected to delve into the ink options in this game, but there are some absolutely incredible tattoo designs hidden away that I wish I had earlier, just so I could be a heavily tattooed Viking right from the very start. Up until now, I've been spending my time doing the normal Viking stuff. You know, drinking games, <coughs> fishing, setting people on fire. I've bought a few tattoos in shops and I was looking fairly menacing, but I didn't know just how many tattoos there are in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Tattoos that will intimidate young and old people alike. And after all, that is the whole point of tattoos. There are a lot of tattoos and the majority of them look amazing. The minority of them look like you've wiped your face on the ground, but they can't all be winners. Most of them, at least, are completely different from one another, with different colours and intricate patterns. Tattoos can turn your Eivor from anything from edgy gap model to pissed off mudman, sabotaging all job opportunities for the foreseeable future. Or until they invent cheese graters. Ugh, horrible horrible imagery. So whether you've just begun Assassin's Creed Valhalla or you're dozens of hours in, you're going to want to see all of the amazing tattoos. From there, you can pick which ones you want to go after and use the one simple trick in this video to make the process a whole lot faster. Before we begin, I would massively appreciate it if you give this video a like. And if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel Gaming with Griff Griffin. Okay, now let's get tatted. Right then, I'm going to start the video with a rundown of all the tattoos in the game. These are all the head, arm, chest and back tattoos. The two ways you can get tattoos are by either buying them in shops or hunting down flying paper. There are 37 flying papers in all. I'll be talking about the one simple trick to make getting flying paper easier a bit later on in the video. To get tatted, just visit your tattooist in Raventhorn. Greetings. Oh, and by the way, don't forget to show your tattoos off by pressing the right stick in on the inventory screen. You'll still have the effects of the armor without actually seeing it. Okay, now let's have a look at all the tattoos and stick around to hear about the best way you can get them for yourself.
that was a little mini montage of all the tattoos in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. As mentioned, to get them, you have to hunt down flying paper. There are 37 in all, but here's the thing. They give you a random tattoo each time. Specific tattoos are not tied to specific pieces of paper. So, how do you get the tattoo you want without hunting all over England? Here's how. Before you get the flying paper, save the game. Then, if you don't like the tattoo you're given, reload. When you get the flying paper again, the tattoo will be completely different. It only works when you save before the chase. I've tried doing this right before you get the paper, and the paper isn't there when you reload. It's smart. This paper is smart. So, save the game before the chase starts. What if you want to skip the chase altogether? There's a way you can do that. Some bits of flying paper are actually located in a position you can get to without having to chase first. You just have to look around the environment for a way to make your life easier. This paper here is a great example. Instead of chasing after it, get above it, then land on it. Aim for this tree branch here and you'll get the paper instantly. Then, if you don't like the tattoo, reload your game and try again. With other tattoos, another way to make the chase quicker is to look where the flying paper is going. Flying paper follows a set route, so rather than following it, go right to the destination and wait for it to come to you. And one final word on how to get tattoos quickly in Assassin's Creed Valhalla. With over 50 tattoos in the game, saving and reloading until you get the tattoo you want can take a while. You've got a 1 in 50 chance, or a 1 in however many tattoos you have left to get chance. I recommend getting 12 flying papers first. This increases your odds by a third. 12, 24 faces, yeah. A third. That's math. When I went hunting my favourite tattoo, the Hajata tattoo, I got 12 flying papers first, then did the save and reload trick to boost my chances of encountering Hijata. It's like that old saying, work Hijata, not harder. That joke was bad. So that was a rundown of all the tattoos in Assassin's Creed Valhalla, as well as some tips on how to make getting them slightly less of a hassle. Hopefully now you can spend less time chasing around airborne bits of paper and more time getting airborne yourself. Hey, why should paper get all the fun? Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as ever, I would love it if you'd drop a like on the video. For more Assassin's Creed guides, subscribe to my channel, Gaming with Griff Griffin.